Ubuntu or other Linux flavors and uh, do your data science related work and use R on Ubuntu, this is a quick start video for you. So it's really two simple steps. So step one is really to install the base R package uh, within uh, Ubuntu and once we have installed R, uh, we then need to install uh, R Studio. So again, really simple two steps. Uh, but for good measure, we are uh, running uh, the apt get update command. Um, so again, these are some fundamental commands in uh, Linux. So I've already, uh, so if you open your terminal, so that's, uh, I've, well, I think I've got it running already. Let me just go to the terminal. Yeah. So press uh, shift control and T as a shortcut on Ubuntu to go to the terminal. And there if you can run this command, I've, I've already run that command to save us uh, some time, but uh, basically just uh, copy and paste that command here, so sudo apt, dad, apt get update, and uh, you can see it's updated. And after that we will then install uh, base R, so copy and paste that there. Yep. Okay, so looks like that's complete. So we have now installed R base. Um, the next thing is to actually test if R is installed correctly. So even before we install R Studio, let's just quickly check if R is installed. Um, so you can run R with uh, just a single character that's R itself. Make sure uh, it's in uppercase um, and not in low. So here we can do a quick test. Yep, uh, seems like R is all good. So um, let's just say, um, just do a quick test. Yeah, all, all good. Uh, in fact, uh, we can even do some basic commands and see that R is working okay. But again, if you're you in a Windows environment, you have a, a more improved uh, tool, if you will, uh, if you just install R. But within um, Ubuntu and Unix, uh, uh, Linux rather, yeah, you know, you don't have a very powerful IDE by default, which is why we would like to install R Studio. So to install R Studio, head over to rstudio.com, and uh, the UI or the website might have changed, but uh, you should be able to find it under products. So um, click on R Studio, and chances are uh, that you will want to install the desktop version and not the server. So click on desktop, and uh, scroll down further. And finally, the download section. Okay, so now under the download page, uh, you should be able to find um, the Ubuntu version uh, corresponding to your operating system, whether you're using a 32-bit or a 64-bit, uh, chances are uh, you will, if it's a recent machine, it will be 64-bit. So click on download. Um, so I've done that in advance, so I've already got uh, our studio running and uh, now just uh, click to open. And that opens the Ubuntu Software Center and it should allow for us to install our studio. So click on install. Give it a couple of uh, minutes and it should be installed. Okay, so now we have uh, installed our studio. We should be all set. Um, the next thing is uh, to open our studio. So just uh, do a quick search, our studio here. Okay. And uh, that should open up the IDE. So here we are, we should be pretty much set to go. Uh, I can do a quick test again. So let's just do this. This uh, 100, for example, uh, 2 times x, so times x. So, all good. So that should be it. So, in summary, what we have done in this quick uh, video is uh, we have installed R. Um, on Ubuntu and then we have installed uh, RStudio which gives you a nice uh, UI, a GUI interface or, or what's popularly referred to as an IDE uh, to actually do some development uh, on R. Alright, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks everyone.